hey yo what's going on youtube my name is mehul and welcome to another video in which i'm gonna discuss something interesting not really discussed here before but has been live for quite some time and that is not the free code camp video which just got released yesterday which is like 18 videos condensed of react native series on their free code camp channel if you have not checked it out go do check it out you might like it or you can just watch it in individual tutorials on my youtube channel itself but uh, you know partners partnering with them kind of in this video got me exposure and they got their content and uh, you know they have a motto of spreading free education i also do have that but why not make money with that as well so um they got their exposure i got i got my exposure they got their views and uh, distribution so i guess it's quite fair deal now what I want to discuss instead in this video is basically something I have not talked about so far but has reached quite a good stage I can say and that is the mobile applications for Android and iOS right so before we get started if you do not know these applications they look a lot similar I have not created them individually in Java and Swift or Objective-C but this is built on React Native right so they share a lot of common code so on the left you have an iOS simulator right and on the right is actually my device my device which I actually use on the day-to-day -day basis which which is running Android 9 so um, I'm gonna test it in front of you on both the devices let's just go ahead and let's just go ahead sure enough yep so the first step is pretty straightforward you can just sign up with your google account or you can just register with email id and password you know regular stuff like that there you go now let's just wait for our ios friend there we are right so um, if you're signing up for the first time you would not probably see the screen instead what you would see is a screen like this right so here this is a place where you can add your tags your favorite tags whatever you want you can scroll down you can use the search bar you can do basically whatever you want to do and add your favorite tags which eventually would get you targeted news and uh, related timelines for example if you are um, added a python tag right i do not want you to show um, let's say JavaScript news because that does not make sense if you're if you're somebody who do not know what JavaScript is and hate it maybe you don't like it then I don't want to show you JavaScript related articles it might not interest you right so this basically is something which would eventually help you to use this app as uh, um, enjoy this app a little bit better so the next thing is obviously let's just check this out this deuce thing there we are so um, obviously they are same because I'm using the same account but what you can see is basically you can read more or you can share the article now right now all of these articles you see right here are actually um, fetched from medium right so these articles are fetched, fetched from medium the title the information and to read more you can click on this read more button and you would be redirected to medium right so you can just read this article normally just like that once you're done just go back and uh, sorry for the resolution drop this is just like kind of a simulator running so it kind of like lags sometime just wait a second it would become yeah right it's right now so you can see that basically you can just read some articles here and they would all obviously be targeted to you you can see we do not get any javascript or um, whatever articles because if you see inside dashboard inside your profile tags you can see you have selected python front end machine learning and ruby so you're kind of getting those articles right machine learning machine learning python stuff like that right so the next thing is the learn section so what this learn section is basically is it consists of timelines and what timeline is is basically a core structure for something if you want to learn for example let's say you want to learn react native as i say in the title so you're gonna go add that and write react native 
and you would get my playlist of react native it's it does not consist of only my playlist but from all the youtubers right so i'm not restricting it to only my content but i'm actually expanding it to all the youtubers and in future maybe like creators could also add their content themselves but as of now um we are the only one who are adding the content so if you want to like have some content on the platform or if you want to learn something let us know in the feedback so now if I start this one there you go right so we get straight off to the video part of the timeline now I had to like think for iOS how to get this done um, in, a, in a nice way but uh, I'm not really sure right now also because if you take a look at the Android one I'm just show you here on the Android how it how it works. Actually, let me just operate it through my hand on the Android. Right, so let me just uh, pause it because I guess it's going to play. No, right. So for Android, you know, we guys have uh, always had this back button hardware or software or you know on-screen buttons. But iOS has the convention of having screens all the time on the the controls on the tie all the time on the screen so i had really hard time figuring it out how to set up this stuff and uh, this as the timeline thing right so on android it's pretty easy you can slide it from either side from the left you get the timeline from the right you get the basically the chat window but for ios i cannot keep it on the left because we need to have the navigation so i have kept both of them on the right if you have a better suggestion please let me know and i'll try to implement that then you have like the rating system and stuff like that so just go ahead and um, mess around with this timeline and stuff and see what works what not and let me know right coming back to uh, the next thing what we have is basically the settings only right nothing really fancy here you have your settings you can modify your name username you cannot modify your email as of now you can change your password and stuff like that so you get a little bit of dynamic stuff here if we take a look here we go on the dashboard you can see that we have like the status type of learner and uh, maybe yeah i'll just cover that later so you have like status so i have like predefined statuses of four or five status we are still working on this but it kind of like keeps the flow going and we have a progress bar which eventually completes and your status is upgraded right so you would start from absolute noob as of what i remember and here you would gradually progress here done then you would be a learner then you would gradually progress and you would be something else progress something else progress something else right and uh, basically on the web we do have a leaderboard that's not implemented right now on the app so i might add that as well but let's see because there's a lot of work that can be done but uh, is not done so i just want to get things rolling out and i want you guys to try this application see how it goes like and uh, test it out mess around with it report some errors report some bugs you know suggest some fixes suggest some ui patterns or whatever you want to do and let's just make this a better app together so i guess that's all for this video and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe press the bell icon for instant notifications share and i'll see you then in the next one